Have you ever thought about flying one day? Or even considering to skydive anytime soon? But then you're too anxious and scared if anything might go wrong. Well, now there is nylon, parachutes can be guaranteed. But what makes them so special? Well, it started off from 28 February 1935 at a place called DuPont, a man named Wallace Carothers was introduced. He mixed two chemicals, adipic acid and hexamethylene diamine together as a result of polyamide synthetic fiber called nylon, which then became a huge success in business world for stockings and parachute. Adipic acid is mostly used for making polymers where it gives an advantage of the items making it stretchier and usually mixed with hexamethylene diamine, where hexamethylene diamine is a compound to make polymers to give an advantage of bifunctional structure making it stronger and more durable. Moreover, this product is made entirely out of raw materials, coal, air, and water. Those raw materials are basically elements, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen, while the compounds in the nylon is methylene, CH2. Even though nylon has lots of kinds, the most common one is nan 6.6, like the molecular structure below. How are these chemicals made? It started off from coal in minings that is later put into an oven where it breaks down into coal tar. There, it makes different chemicals such as adipic acid and hexamethylene diamine. If we mix them together, it becomes an island salt. In fact, the inspiration for nylon is spider webs because of its elasticity, durability, water resistance, strength, and stretchiness. The type of bonding that's present in nylon is Coblen bonding because when two different chemicals were added into one, it makes a cross link toward each atoms, making the atoms become a stronger component. It makes nylon into a different material that later known as one of the strongest man-made fabric ever created. The process starts when hexamethylene diamine was later mixed together with adipic acid as a result of condensation reaction. All in all, the two chemicals will bond through an amide or peptide bond, which is a type of covalent bond between two amino acid molecules. This molecular structure is called nylon. Because of this, nylon became so popular that now can be found almost all sports equipment. And also now, objects and things around us like fashion. In fact, this is because nylon is suitable for any type of weather and seasons, as well as any temperature during the everyday life seasons as it change. But why choose nylon? Well, it's because it's stronger, it's tougher, it's a windbreaker, it lasts long, it resists any chemicals, any molds or insects, and also breakage. Resilient, resists any seasons, holds human weight, it's synthetic, it's durable, it melts instead of burning, it is waterproof, and it's stretchy. However, there are some limitations of nylon. It is high in moisture, it needs UV stabilization, it is high in shrinkage, it can be attacked by some oxidizing agents, and also strong acids and bases, it has high notch of sensitivity, and it melts. Also, there are some ethical issues in nylon where since the chemicals are made of coals, it can cause great damage to the area. Also, the process of making nylon can cause pollution, environmental problems, and harms animals around. Despite all of those negative impacts, nylon is still important since it's safe, it is guaranteed, it is one of the best, it is innovative, it is financially better, and it is also recommended. Most importantly, it is suitable for rescue and recreational purposes, items like parachutes or skydiving. Using the nylon parachute, you could do anything you want with it, especially this.
Oh